What up, it's Esteban here at Lollapalooza 2012, hanging out with Ryan Lewis and my man Macklemore. What's up, man? How y'all living? Fantastic. Chicago. Yes. Lollapalooza, sunshine, summertime, in the city of Michael Jordan. There it is. I've always wondered how your process works. Is it like you, lyrics, you, production, or do you guys like, you know, share advice? It goes, uh, it can go either way. Like I sometimes write, you know, some random rap. Ryan puts a beat to it. Like Wings was actually just like a, a rap written a couple years ago that Ryan made a beat around. A lot of times Ryan will make a, a beat or a skeleton of a beat and I'll write to it. But 100% of the time we're going back and forth in terms of communicating what this song needs to be. Ryan's editing bars, like take this out, this is whack. You know, put this in, nice. make this a hook. I'm doing the same, you know, take this kick out, replace the snare, like it's very much a collaborative That's effort. That's amazing, man. Now, are you from Seattle as well? I'm from Seattle as well. Please enlighten me about the Northwest Soul sound. I'm not a big fan of like breaking regions into like certain sounds. Right. It's very difficult for me to like, for one, even talk about sound in general, but particularly like talk about like the soul of a sound is very challenging. But Alan Stone is a beast. We got him on the record, actually, nice. on our new album. Um, but I think the one thing that is characteristic of Seattle in terms of the music is the fact that it's raining all the time, which is a lot easier to be a studio rat and just stay uh -huh. in the lab right. at all hours of, of the day and night because you don't have anything else to do. Like, you know, if we woke up in Chicago today and it was really sunny and it was beautiful, it'd be like, oh, let's go do something. Like, let's go in the water. Seattle nine to ten months out of the year it's raining so we're constantly in the studio trying to perfect the craft the heist yes is it still dropping october yeah october 12. please tell us about this album we put a lot of work we've been in the studio the last six months we've been working on it the last two and a half three years on and off between touring and, and doing a bunch of shows but um we got some great features on there and i think that it's just the evolution of the sound i'm proud of every single record um, there's a diversity in terms of emotion, in terms of production, in terms of raps. Like, you know, there's not, nice. I think that for the people that thought we were in just one lane, there's going to be many different lanes to surprise people that are completely natural to us. It's not like, yo, we need to make this type of song now to appease this type of fan. It's right. just um, what we naturally gravitated towards is being ourselves, but doing different styles. And um, I'm really excited about it. We've just been collaborating for so long um, that I have kind of just been saving Really, everything. I mean, I've never been like a beat salesman. Like, let me get these, <laughs> let me get these off, and right, and, right, uh, right. and uh, saving them to be great records. Um, and like he said, you know, there's there's a variety of features, primarily uh, singers on the album, which is cool. And it's it is uh, a wide variety of music. Um, and you know, I think that the last six months we sat down and we're like, okay, we're gonna finish this and we're gonna polish it. But it's you know, it captures phases of life throughout the last like three years so um, amazing it was a great record to make for sure now you guys are headed out on a world tour what do you have planned anything special is this your first world tour well we've done like you know europe dates we've done europe festivals um but this is the first time like we're gonna eventually be going to australia new zealand nice. um but yeah, this is the most extensive touring of the world in one short time period where we could actually call it a tour right. that we've ever done. But um, yeah, I think that this is, you know, this is the first time in the U.S. that we're going to be in a bus. Like we've been like van warriors for the last couple <laughs> years, and <laughs> we're going to yeah, we've upgraded, which is which is great. Like that was like always my bucket list, like rap check off. Like if I if I make it to a bus, I'm good. Like I can fall off after that as long <laughs> as I get one bus tour, I'm good. But um. Yeah, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be exciting. It's like 50 dates in the U.S., so it's just a lot more shows than we're used to doing. But we're really excited. Yeah. I can't let you guys go without talking about same love. It's a record I've wanted to write for a long time, like the last nine months, year. I tried it a couple different ways. Um, and for those of you that aren't familiar with it, it's a song about homophobia. It's a song about gay rights. It's a song about civil rights. It's a song about um, legalizing gay marriage and my mom sent me like a news clip with um and it was about a kid who was bullied in school who was like 12 or 13 years old and committed suicide so initially i saw that i was just like 
this is crazy that this is happening. You know, the teachers didn't intervene. Kids were bullying, weren't holding right. candles. You know, all this stuff was happening. You know, normal stuff that happens in terms of kids getting bullied, but taking it to that next level. Right. And this is like an epidemic that's happening in America Absolutely. right now. So I tried writing it from the perspective of a gay bullied kid. I grew up in the Catholic church. I grew up with two gay uncles, a gay godfather, and I grew up in the hip hop community. So the huh. Catholic church Polar. and right. the hip hop community are known as being very homophobic communities right. in a lot of ways. So I touched on both coming from that perspective and then also coming from my perspective of, of having um, gay people in my family and seeing examples of committed, you know, beautiful relationships that, that have gone on for the last 20, 30 years. So, and then also holding my community, the hip hop community accountable for kind of how we use language and how, mm. um, you know, we put down a group of people all the time and it's not really, it, it gets the pass. You know, that's the one thing that's cool, it's still cool to like, you know, call, call people the F word right. is like, you know, the ultimate diss and, right. you know, say right. that's gay and that's gay. And, you know, even, you know, Ryan and I up until a couple of years ago would use that's gay all the time in, in everyday vocabulary. So it's just about evolving as as people. And I think that that's the great thing with Obama endorsing it and Jay-Z endorsing it is, um, you know, being gay marriage is that there's an evolution happening right now. And I wanted to touch on it. I wanted to, to write a song that really spoke um, to my own experience and just to our generation.